hi friends you are welcome to my youtube channel i'm designed by tola and in today's video i'm going to share with you on how i made this very beautiful and gorgeous off shoulder long sleeve ruched crop top with an eye slit maxi skirt okay if this feels like what you are interested in please hit on the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe to my channel and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much i appreciate you all right please hit on the subscribe button like comment and also share this video so let's move right into the tutorial for the sake of the beginners i'm going to be starting from the pattern drafting so now this my pattern paper is on fold and here i'm going to draw a straight line which is going to serve as my shoulder line from the shoulder line i'm going to come down by three inches here now on the shoulder line i'm going to mark in three inches and then i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement divided by two which is eight on that eight mark i'm going to come down by just one inch so now i'm going to join the points i have together from here to here and here is my neckline and then from my neckline i'm going to connect it to that one inch mark i had here earlier and here this line here is my shoulder slope now i'm going to measure my shoulder to my bust which is 10.5 and i'm going to mark it here shoulder to my under bust 14.5 and then shoulder to the length of the scrub top which is 18 inches now i'm going to repeat the measurement here also and after i'm, do, after I'm done with that i'm going to make this line this point into a straight line now i'm going to label these lines i have here is my bust line this line here is my under bust line and this line is my waist line now from the shoulder slope I'll mark 7.75 which is my bust span divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches so now this mark i have here i'm going to make it into a straight line now this line i've just drawn this is my chest line i'm going to measure my shoulder measurement which is my shoulder divided by two i'm going to mark it here what i have and then i'm going to make it into a straight line now this straight line i've just drawn i'm going to divide it into two mark the midpoint and on that midpoint i'm going to come in by half of an inch now i'm going to be connecting these points together now here i have is my ham o curve from my now on my chest line i'm going to measure my bust span divided by four i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to add one inch sewing allowance my on my under bust line i'm going to measure my i'm going to mark my under bust circumference divided by four mark it and then had one inch sewing allowance my waistband divided by four i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to mark one inch sewing allowance now i'm just going to connect this point i have together from my shoulder line i'm going to come down by six inches and that is how deep i want my off shoulder to be if you want yours to be deeper maybe you want to show your cleavage then you can come down by seven or by eight inches now i'm going to make this also into a straight line and this is a new line that i have on my under bust line i'm going to come down by just one inch from my under bust line make this into a straight line also so here this line they here that i've just drawn and this line here these are what i really need to make for my rushed top now here is my band i'm just going to cut this out cut out the excess so that it can remain only the pattern that i need and now i'm going to be cutting out the band and here i'm going to label it the band that's my band now i'm going to be drafting my back pattern now on my back pattern i'm going to draw out my shoulder line also then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark 1.5 1, 1 yeah 1.5 inches and here is my zipper allowance i'm just going to transfer and put my front pattern on my back pattern secure it down with a pin and then i'm just going to trace this out no additional allowance i'm just going to trace it and just remember to always notch the zipper allowance now the next thing to do is just to transfer these patterns onto my main fabric and here it is transferring my patterns onto my main fabric i cut out both the fabric and the lining and this is the back also i cut out both the fabric 
and the lining i'm going to be working with and then i added half inch sewing allowance at the upper and the lower part and same for the front pattern also now i'm going to be slashing this open now we at the back there's a deep curve at the back now i'm going to come down by 2.5 inches and i'm going to connect that if you want yours to be deeper please you can come down more so here now i'm just going to cut out this line i'm going to cut it out on my main fabric also like this so here is my back panel and here is my back panel so i'm going to be turning in my back panel with the lining i'm going to place the lining on it and then turn it in on this side this side and this side for the both then i've done that please remember to top stitch after you turn in and turn in by just quarter of an inch and do not forget to fold in the zipper allowance so that it can be very much easy for you when you want to attach your zipper so the next thing to do now is just to attach the zipper and this is what i have done i've attached my zipper so now i'm going to place this aside and i'm going to be working on my front panel here this is my front i did half of an inch on the upper and lower part of this panel and then i'm just going to this is the main fabric and the line and this is the band two and a half inches band plus half inch sewing allowance please remember to cut your band on fold here's another extra fabric both with the fabric and the lining now what i'm going to do is this extra fabric i'm going to need it to attain that ruched effect now i'm going to place my front panel on this extra fabric and make sure it is the same it is the same length as your front panel now slash upon this front panel and you're going to be joining this extra fabric to this panel one after the other so join it to this side of the front panel and the other side of the front panel join this extra fabric so this is going to make it into a very long piece of material you can do it this way and trust me even when you even this joining is not going to show because you're going to be pleating in the joining you can see this is when i'm done joining and this is how it looks like so if you don't want yours to have joining i also have another method for you now just cut a very long piece of fabric as you desire and then at the end of the fabric place your pattern paper on it and trace out the armhole and the side so by doing that you're going to have a very long piece of fabric without any joining now remember to notch the midpoint of your front panel and also notch the midpoint of your band so the next stage you're moving on to now is to pleat the front panel on the band and that is why the notching is very very important for you to have an even pleat so pleat the front panel on the band while considering the notches and here it is i've gone ahead to pleat my front panel on my band and here is what it's looking like okay now please remember to turn your front panel with the lining before pleating it on the band it's going to make it much more easier for you that way now we're going to set this aside and then you're going to be joining both the front and the back panel together at the sides so you can as well first secure this down with your paints to make it easier for you to join them now we're going to be marking our one inch remember that we added one inch sewing allowance while drafting the pattern so this same one inch is what we're going to be marking so mark one inch for both sides and then you go back to your sewing machine to stitch it down tracing out this one inch mark and here it is you can see our top is already looking so beautiful and lovely all right guys so now please remember this is a ruched crop top so we're going to be passing in our elastic tape so on this front panel here just go over to your sewing machine and make a straight line but make sure that it is big enough for your elastic tape to pass through so make a very straight line just a straight line all through like that on the front panel and then attaching the elastic tape just like this you can see just this 
line like this and then you're going to put in in your elastic tape into that hole now once you do that so this is the result this is what you're going to have you can see is looking beautiful already now the next thing to do to this top is now to attach the sleeves okay you're going to be going on now to cut the sleeves to this now for the sleeve the length of my sleeves is 24 inches and then the width is 10 inches now go over to your sewing machine and then m the sides of this sleeve once you hem the sides of the sleeve, make sure that hem is big enough and wide enough to accommodate your elastic tape. Now fold it into two and then place your front pallet on it and trace out the arm O curve. Just trace out the arm hole like this. And then after you're done with that, you pass in your elastic tape into the end part of the sleeves. And then once you're done with that, you are going to close up the sleeve by just one inch. The same way we did for the, um, the, the the bodies. So close it off by just one inch. And then after you're done with that, you're going to attach this sleeve to the main bodies. You're going to attach this sleeve to your, your, your main bodies. So attach them together at the armhole region. Just like you see, attach them together at the armhole region. And once you do that, you should have something like this. So you can see what we have uh, this top is very simple and easy as it is if you just if you can follow this step-by-step -step procedure so this is what you should be having you can see how beautiful and lovely a crop top is looking now let's so let's move on to the skirts but for this skirt i'm going to be showing you an illustration now let's assume that this is our fabric you're going to be folding your fabric into two folds just like the way you're seeing in the video now fold it into a, a triangular fold just like this as you have seen okay after double folding fold it in a triangular form just like this now what you're going to do now is you're going to measure your waist circumference whatever you have add four inches allowance to that now divide that result by four okay whatever you get let's assume that what we got now is five let's assume as an example that what we got when we divided that we got five now you're going to place this five like this on your fabric okay place whatever thing you get like this on the fabric okay now just mark it so you can use the straight ruler to you know straighten this up but whatever you get as your result just mark it like that take a straight ruler mark it so that you can have a straight line there so just mark it like that to give you a straight line now after you are done with that you're not going to take your tape measure remember that the skirt has a band a two inches band so you're going to be taking out that two inches like that so that then from there you're going to measure the length of the skirt let's say the length of your skirt is um 15 like you can see we're going to you're now going to add two inches extra to make it 17 okay so because that two inches you're going to be needing that two inches to hem the skirt and also half of an inch to join the skirt to the band so after you have done that trace it out just like this and then the next thing for you to do is just to cut this out this is an illustration on how you're going to cut your own main fabric okay so just the next thing for you to do is just cut this out i probably use this illustration so that you can actually get what i'm trying to explain very well okay if i use the fabric it will be big and you might not really understand that's why i'm using this um brown paper so that you can clearly see and understand what i'm trying to explain so just cut your fabric just cut it out like this so after you're done cutting this is what you should have when you open up the and then please remember to notch the midpoint of that scale of that material notch the midpoint then when you open it up this is what you should have it will have just one side open 
okay it's just be one side that will, will be open and it's going to be like this this is small when you cut it with your fabric it's going to be bigger than this okay so now on the main fabric when you this is how we should look like on the main fabric after you have unfolded it this is how we should look like so now we're going to deduct that two inches for the band you remember now we want to determine the length of our slit for me i use 15 inches okay I use 15 inches de um, deducting two inches out at the waist so i marked 15 inches on that 15 inches mark i came in by one inch and then i'm going to sew from that one inch to the waist of the skirt and leave the other side to the hem open so just like this so from the from that mark to the waist of the skirt i closed it up and then from that mark down to the hem of the skirt i just left it open so now this when you get to this area i want you're going to just do you according to what you want you understand now if you want your slit to be in the middle you can put it in the middle and if you want your slit to be at the side you can put it at the side okay just do just do you here for me my slit is at the side so that is why you see that i shifted this slit at the side now when i've done that this other side here just open it up cut it open with your scissors you're going to be attaching your zipper to that side now after you've opened it up remember our waist our band is two inches had to have add half of an inch allowance to that making it two and a half you're going to be joining it to the skirt with half inch so join it together like that after you are done joining put the zipper attach the zipper and then close down the remaining side of the skirt and then when you're done doing that this is what your result should look like i've attached the zipper and then you can see i've already uh, hemmed the skirt also so just hem your skirt attach the zipper and then close down that open edge after you have uh, attached the zipper just close it down by one inch and you can also close it by one inch first before now attaching the zipper whichever way you know how to um fixing your zipper so guys this is how I made this eye slit maxi skirt and then the off shoulder roached crop top with a long sleeve. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the red I made for the red I made for the green. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you're yet to hit on that subscribe button, please click on it on the subscribe button and then put on the notification bell also. Thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in my next video. Have a great day and bye.